Hello and welcome to your maths, maths lesson today, uh, where we are learning all about our number of the week, uh, which this week is the number two. Uh, so uh, last week we learned all about the number one. So now we're moving on to the next number. So we have number one, so we're going to add one more, and that is the number two, and that's the number that we are learning about today. So here we go. Let's learn all about the number two. There it is. So we have a rhyme when we're writing the number two. Uh, so it goes like this. Round and down, give it a shoe. That's the way we make a two. So that is how we form the number two. Okay, so we're going to do that one more time so that you can learn it. Round and down, give it a shoe. That's the way we make a two. There we go. So all about the number two. The number two can be shown in lots of different ways. Now last week we learned all about the number one. Um, and we learnt what the numicon looks like for the number one. So the numicon for the number two looks like this. So as you can see, it's a different colour to the number one. The number one was orange and it just had one hole. The number two is blue and it has one, two holes or two circles. So that's how we know it's the number two. You can see through it in my eyes. There we are. It's like a mask. You can see my two eyes through the number two. So that is what the number two pneumocon looks like and it is blue. So when we do the number two on our fingers, we do it like this. One, two, or we could have it like this. One, two, or you could have it like this. One, two, so it doesn't matter how you show it, as long as you only have two fingers showing. Uh, this, the next one is the number two written down, so it starts with a t sound. Two. Can you say that? Two. So that's how it looks when it's written down as a word. The last one here on our screen is the number two on a dice. Now we looked at a dice last week, didn't we? So the number two on a dice has two dots. That's how we know it's the number two. And it looks like this. So this, the face of the dice is a square and it has two dots on it. One, two, just like that and you can see it on the screen just there as well. So when you roll this number and the dice lands on this number, you know it's the number two because it has one, two dots. So number fingers, so we were just talking about these. How many, number, num, how many fingers are being shown? Can you hold up two fingers? Can you have a go at holding up two fingers? So you can hold them up like this, like this, like this, like this. You can hold them up however you like, as long as it's only two. So, do you know what this word says? I just told you the answer to this question. This is the number two written as a word, t, and it starts with a t sound, and it looks like this, t, ooh, the number two. There we go. So that's written as a word. Uh, dotty dice numbers. Dice sometimes have numbers on them written as a pattern in dots. And just like we just spoke about, there it is, the number two with two dots. And our number two pneumocon, which we also just discussed, is blue. And it has two holes or two circles, if you want to call them the circles. So uh, number line. Can you spot the number two on the number line? See if you can point it out. Can you see which two numbers are next to the number two? So which number comes before and which number comes after? Should we see if you got it right? There it is. So the number two is green. And the numbers next to the number two are number one, which we learnt last week, and number three. So the number two is in between the number one and the number three. And again on this number line, can you spot the number two? 
Is it in the same place? Is it next to the same numbers? Is it the same colour? Should we click the hand to find out? There it is. So this time with the number line this way, the number two is near to the bottom and it comes above the number one and below the number three. There it is in the middle. So Sam wants to put two cars on her road. Can you help me to count them as we put two cars on the road? So I'm going to click them and you're going to help me to count. Are you ready? One, two. So there's two cars on the road. Well done if you help to count with me. So Hope needs to find the jar of sweets that has two sweets. Can you help her? So we'll start with the first jar here. Let's count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five. So that is not the number two, that is the number five. Let's look at the next one. One, two. I heard our number of the week. So the number two is this one. Should we click and see if we got it right? Well done, one and two. Two sweets in the jar. So numbers as labels. So we spoke about this last week. I wonder if anybody watching today has got the number two on their front door. I didn't hear if anybody had the number one on their front door. But has anybody got the number two? So we can see numbers everywhere all around us and, and every door has a number, just like in this picture here. So have you ever looked for numbers in your classroom or on your walk to school or on your walk to the park? Numbers are everywhere. Have a look around you in your house and see if you can spot the number two anywhere in your house. So I can see the number two on my clock up there. Can you spot the number two anywhere? Don't cheat, not on your screen. You have to look in your room, in the room where you are. So you might have two candles on your cake. So this has got two candles lit here. One, two. So if you're two years old, you might have two candles on your cake. There's the number two on somebody's door, like we just spoke about. Oh, there's two cakes. Yum, yum. The number two on, painted on the, on the ground. Right then, just like we did last week for the number one, we're going to do some number two challenges. So let's start with the first challenge, the purple one, and see what you have to do today. Can you quickly find something in the room that you're in that shows the number two? If you just completed the, um, the task that I just asked you to do, you would have already spotted the number two in the room you're in. I'm going to look if there's any other number twos in the room I'm in and I can see one right here. So there's one on the clock and one on the board. Can you spot any more in the room that you're in? Great job if you managed to do that. Let's have a look at the pink challenge. Quickly find something in the room that you're in that shows the number two. Go. See if you can find something that shows the number two. I'm going to find two books. This shows the number two. One, two, two books. Or I might pick up my Numicon. Number two. Did you manage to do that one? Great job if you did. Right, let's look at the orange challenge. Oh, can you do two hops? Let's see if Miss Sun can do this one today. I did two jumps last week. Let's see if I can do two hops. That's one leg. Ready? One, two. Oh, Miss Nun hasn't got very good balance. Did you manage to do that one? Great balancing if you did. 
and the green challenge, can you show me two fingers? I'm going to cover my eyes and when I open them I want to see two fingers. Are you ready? Go. Great job everybody. Well done, you managed to complete the number two. You know all about the number two, so now you're an expert. So can you give yourself two pats on the back? One, two, two pats on the back. Can you give yourself two claps? One, two. Great job, you did amazing at learning all about the number two today. I'm very impressed. So next week, I wonder if you can guess what number we are going to be learning about. So we've learnt number one, down we run and one is done. And today we have learnt the number two, round and down, give it a shoe, that's the way we make a two. Great job, I think you all deserve a fairy clap. Well done everybody, I'm very impressed. So uh, well done with your maths lesson. Um, I look forward to seeing you. Uh, so next week, we can learn number three in the classroom because we are all going to be back in the classroom together next week. So our number of the week next week, we can learn all together in the classroom, which is very exciting. So enjoy the rest of your activities today and I look forward to seeing you all again for your home learning task tomorrow.